It was the spring of 2003 on an abandoned farm in Northern Ontario. And as the sun was setting, I held back tears of fear. I found a clearing in the woods and with my blanket on my lap, I settled down for the night on the mountain of fear ceremony. It was a long, cold night sitting on the ground. The night on the mountain of fear ceremony was my introduction to experiencing shamanism, the oldest spiritual path in the world. Shamanism is a path of exploration, discovery, and healing. Now, I'd love to tell you that it all came together for me that night. It didn't. It took me years to figure it all out, that these ancient wisdom teachings can be used every day. And as we know, the last few years, let's face it, the world has been pretty upside down. My world's been upside down, and I could guess that a few of you have been a bit disrupted by what's been going on the last few years. So I want to share with you something that I use to get me unstuck. And it's what evolved out of all my experience of studying the shamanic path. We'll use the acronym ZEST, Z. Zero in on what you want. What is it that you want in your life? Just take a minute, a second. You've got something flying around in your head, probably a lot of things. So for the sake of this exercise, take your left hand, put it on your forehead. Ah, there they go. Grab one, just one. Take that thought of what you want and bring it down to your heart. Do you feel the vibration change from your head to your heart? That's the E. That's emotion that Craig talked about. So whatever you want, you connect it with emotion because every memory we have, good or bad, is charged with emotion. So if we want something, we better charge it up. Now keep your hand there because this is where you get to crack open the vial of dopamine. Dopamine is the chemical for persistence. And there's nobody on the planet more persistent than a child who wants something. I want it, I want it, I really, really want it. That's what we want to do with what we want in our lives. We want to attach that kind of emotion to it. And that takes us to the S, to success. You get to define success any way you want to. It's not somebody else's success, it's your success. And at home, does that mean getting what you were just thinking about? It could mean a new car, a new house, it could mean a family. Success, how you define it. And at work, your success is defined by your outcomes. Does that mean low staff turnover? Maybe high revenue, low expenses. You define success. See it as done. And maybe you want to share your vision with your family and at work with your colleagues, with your staff, so everyone is aligned. And when you do that, you get to the T, to the transformation. You get to zero in on what you want, get excited about it, get enthusiastic about it. Define success any way you want it. You will transcend and transform to a higher place. Your vibration is rising. You are not the person you were last month, last week, or yesterday. You are now a higher functioning human being. Shamanism is a path of exploration, discovery, and healing. And what I learned was if I could do this, if I could stay out all night by myself in the woods, except for the thousand mosquitoes that were with me, then I had the courage, the determination, and the perseverance to do anything. And with this kind of zest, so can you.
Fantastic. Thank you so much. That was lovely. Thank you for spending time with us at Disrupt HR.